Oh man, Sunny. Woohoo! Hey everybody. So I'm about to leave to go to a friend's house. Y'all might remember him, Mr. Robert Brewster. And we're gonna go eat some some lunch. I mean sorry, dinner together. And he is going to show me his new house. And we're gonna do some some vision casting, some dreaming for edible landscapes. We're gonna see what all we can get into for making his space grow all kinds of good food. He already is a pretty knowledgeable guy on all, all things plants, but I'm excited for these conversations. We're gonna see what we can get into. I thought I would invite you guys on this fun time and we'll see what we can, we can talk about. You might learn a thing or two from what we talk about for his uh, edible landscape going in. Oh yeah, and he's gonna do some figs up here, right up in there. They'll be nice and big and bushy, but figs are so tasty. And I just wanted to show you this guy. Look at these. Oh my goodness, look at these little crocuses. Oh man. These are my favorite, favorite flowers, actually. They're not really open right now because it's evening time. These are actually my favorite flowers. Little crocuses. I absolutely love them. And right over here is the daffodils. Y'all, spring is here. Woohoo! Guys, we're here with Mr. Robert. What's going on? Bam, the man, the myth, the legend. Tell us a little bit about your uh, uh, water stuff, actually, if you want. Yeah, so my Clean family water. business is water purification. We do like whole homes, residential, and so yeah. uh, honestly, people don't understand that the quality of water is like they, they take the healthiest food, they buy organic, they do all these different things to, you know, help what's going in their body, but mm. they don't realize. The all water. the chemicals that are in the water, Oof, all the man. different things they put in the water, and then mm -hmm. all the especially our city water. Oh my goodness! Yeah, so not good. So we kind of do residential water tests for people around all East Tennessee. So that's cool. kind of how. how Sweet. I've been, Dad's been doing it 26 years. So man, that's, uh, that's a little bit older than I am. So, <laughs> so <laughs> I was uh, negative one. So this is the next new project here. He so, just bought this house and he's uh, reclaiming it, right? Yeah, I just moved out of the parents and uh, now I moved <laughs> in my own place. You're growing up over here. Yeah. <laughs> so I just got this house, super um, incredible layout, cleaned out a couple different things, took a couple different trees out. Yeah. Um, but the plan is to make kind of like a food forest garden style, kind of to relax, invite friends over, yeah. have something during the year that I look forward to. Sweet. And so I pruned up, this tree right here. Great this, myrtle. I just lived here like two weeks, so I'm trying to get it cleaned up, but I got a pear tree in the backyard. Oh yeah. So I already got a super, super productive pear tree. I'm gonna, I'm gonna prune him down, cut his head off to yep. bring that fruit down so I can actually reach it. Yes, sir. And then I got a chestnut tree right over there. So that's, pretty that's cool. really, really nice. That one right there. Yeah. And then one of the biggest, I think it's a black oak that I've ever seen. Um, big boy right there. I mean, that's... They, they've chopped him a little bit, but he's still going. I mean, that's, I mean, that's like, what, like five feet, six feet? That's probably almost six feet at the base. Yeah, that's a, that's a big boy. It's a big boy. But, so, kind of the plan, what I was talking to Binge with, and yep. he helped me see a couple different things that could be done, yeah. is I have a bunch of invasive weeds around here. Tons of honeysuckle. <laughs> Um, English ivy. English ivy. You've got a bunch of vinca, privet, privet, bad stuff. So yeah, um, I had to clean up this backyard pretty extensively, but the plan is to lay down some tarp. Mm -hmm. So that's what that landscape fabric. Landscape fabric, permeable, so that the water can get through it. Water can get through it. Set up an asparagus bed back here. Yeah, right in the corner. So. I just moved in here, so you set up those perennials as soon as you move in somewhere, mm -hmm. so you're not regretting it later. So you got Take some time. Yeah, you got the next year asparagus is coming up a little bit, then the next year it's coming up even more. Yeah. And I did nothing. All I did was plant a couple beds and yep. call it a day. Um, then on this hill, because it's got good drainage, probably do some blueberries. What me and Bench were talking about, yep. some blueberries, raspberries some raspberries and then a grapevine or muscadine vine right here probably towards the top we were talking about because you want definitely want drainage for the uh for the grapes because they don't like more wet conditions so yeah probably up towards the top top mm -hmm. row is what we were talking about and then yeah. yeah yeah so get a nice trellis up here so it's growing on that mm -hmm. years and years and then the blueberry bushes have time and then down here 
I probably put down some cardboard or something uh, similar to what Benj did at his his place, mm -hmm. and just kill off these invasive. Get a stump grinder in here. Take out this. Take out a couple of different stumps around the house. Because this is bad, bad privet. Yeah. And uh, no fun. and it's just going to take over if I don't get it out of here. So. Yeah. Run a little stump grinder, get that taken care of. Put cardboard down, put mulch down, just let it rest, rot. Kill that grass, kill those perennials yep. for a year or two. Put landscape fabric on this hill so I get nothing coming down. Yep. And uh, and I'd wait to do the garden yep. right now. I just wait to do the garden, see how it it starts rotting, breaking down, building good organic yep. material. And you can put the tarp on, take it off, let the you know the weed seeds all come out, flush out. And then put it back on so that you're kind of you're kind of uh, trying to sort through all the weeds and stuff mm. if you wanted to do it to that degree. Exactly. I also told him if he wanted to plant anything, you could do like some tomatoes or peppers, larger plants that you can transplant out. You just cut a little hole in the in the tarp, mm. um, but or you can just give it a year to rest and. If I get, get a little guardy, garden envious, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll start missing my You might get that tackle. spring fever. I, I might be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I won't watch out there. Yep. Uh, but everything else, pretty simple. I'll probably cleaning it up. Yeah, probably build a little greenhouse, a little lean-to on the side of the house. I haven't decided what Over I want to do yet, but yeah. probably a, a greenhouse on the side. And that might be a little later down the line. Maybe some strawberries in a planter box and herbs over there for cooking? Yeah, just a little garden veg place over there. Just looks nice, got some good flowers in there, and then, you know, got yeah. your easily accessible um, herbs and herbs and everything. All that good stuff. Yeah, everything you need. But you gotta manage your expectations when doing something like this. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, you gotta make it feasible. Gosh, yeah. But he's right, starting with perennials that you know you want. Even, I mean, I would say even if you, if you don't quite put the right location, that plant has grown one year, and then you can you can move it usually within one year. Mm. They're not crazy established, so even buying the plants, putting them out, if you feel like you, it's not the right spot, you can still move them. So mm. he's right. Starting out with the plants, I mean, optimum is if you put them in the right spot the first time. But <laughs> optimum. But don't be afraid of of uh, starting just because you feel like everything has to be all perfect. Um, but uh, yeah, he's got some good stuff going on here. Got work ahead, to, got your work laid out for you, but hey, hey but if it's not hard work, what it's all about. Know, what's the fun? <laughs> I guess that's partially true. <laughs> if it's all easy, I mean, you yep. got nothing going for you. Yep, yep. Well, cool, man. Thanks for showing us around. He's showing us that uh, any space can be edible, beautiful, and fun. Yeah. Just takes a little work. You got this, buddy? Yes, sir. Hey, pow. Appreciate it, man. Yes, yes. See you guys next time. Might even get to see this job. What do you think? You're going to yeah. do this stuff? So, yeah. yeah, we'll come back out here and should give you a little update on it and uh, see all the progress. Sweet. Spring is in the air. Spring is in the air. Here we go. Keep sewing and growing. Punch the camera. <laughs>